Okay, here we have another coach at the Florida RV Super Show 2023. This is a Fleetwood Frontier 34 GT. And let's just take a quick look at this coach. It's got one full wall slide out here. It's got dual entry fuel fills. It's got 275 ADR at 22.5 aluminum rims. And here is our first storage bay here. And here is one of the features that we liked about the Frontier is the extra wide barn style doors. This particular model um, doesn't have a slide out tray, but the slide out tray is optional. This has the uh, rear ladder that's in here right now. Here is another storage bay with the central vacuum cleaner. It's a dirt devil as well as our transfer switch. And here is our electric bay uh, with a Giboni solar smart controller. I think it has a 300 watt solar system. Um, here is a 2000 watt magna, magnum inverter. And here's your hydraulic controls and reservoir. And the big pipe right there is part of the soot containment system for emissions. Okay, and up in the side here, you see your windows right here. And here's a little quick pan of the model here. And our exterior TV is right here with sound bar, which is up top. It's a Samsung TV. All right, let's go inside now. Hey, it's Marie. Surprise, huh? <laughs> Hi guys, this is really a neat coach. Um, I have to say, I do tend to like the uh, Fleetwood Frontier and Dove Discovery models, and this one uh, is no exception. It's got a nice screen there for all your uh, various devices, backup camera, etc., as well as a camera that you can see all around the coach. Ben currently has ours as a split screen, so you can see down both sides of the coach. Really nice. Right, this does toggle between your rear view camera and your side cameras. Uh, it's got a digital display right here. It's not, this year they've upgraded to a Sony radio. I used to have a Magnadyne radio. And you got little controls here for your shade, as well as your generator, and even your uh, utility lights. Right. And here you got another, you have a Sony, uh, Insignia TV here with two slide out cabinets here. And this one is equipped with the Wi Fi Ranger as well as the uh, package that lets you monitor your cameras from the TV sets. Right. And as always, uh, most of the coaches now have, this is a 500-pound bed that'll come down. The hide aloft. Yes. Over on this side, we have two lovely theater seats, uh, really quite nice. Uh, electrical recline. Very nice. And they go way out. Look at this, folks. Ah. Yeah, I can't even touch the button now. There we go. So you can really sit here and really enjoy that Televator TV set that's on that side. What a storage nest to you. What's that That's one? a big storage. See there? Plus, it's got these little pockets wow, that you can put your remotes in. Way in there. Mm -hmm. And you can put your pocket, you can put your remotes and such in here. So yeah, perfect. There's another more storage here, or is that just... I think that is... It seems like a bit of a waste. Well, I'm not sure. Maybe there's wires back there. But we have three sets of doors here. These right here are all one unit, all the way across. Right, they're the one, side. one unit. On this side is the... Uh, we have the electric fireplace. Right, and, uh, and this is really nice, a little china hutch, and it's got nice uh, under lighting, so that when you open it up, it comes on, and so you have a nice little light to see anything that you might put in there. Okay, and there's a really, bottom drawer down there, too. It's got a very pretty decoration, too, here. Well, the bottom drawer is just a uh, little catch-all for, I guess, remote and such. amount of storage there for such yeah, a Yeah, it actually it goes back about six inches. And what it's across the way, this is the booth dinette. What's that we've got uh, under, under uh, storage, at least on one side? What side this opens up? Yes. I'm not sure the other side, but these chairs also recline. Make if into you, a bed. Uh, if you want to show, I'll show real quick how that works. But basically, you. <laughs> find that the darn thing to work right. You're supposed to. Uh, See, Ben loves to play with this stuff. 
Remember, some of this stuff is a little stiff. It's brand new, so you can see how the bed comes down. And, and it goes back that, up. That way you don't have a bunch of cushions you got to put in place. So it's, it's kind of cool right the way there. that is done. So there are lots, and it's locked in place for travel. Right. And over the uh, table here, of course, you had your televisor TV there that we mentioned earlier. You do have two cabinets here. There is a wall between them, so you basically have a very deep cabinet, but there is a wall between them. Moving on, there is a small one here, too, before I move on to the kitchen here. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. I found a little floor plan. Ben, why don't you take a quick shot of that floor plan for us? That's kind of nice to find that here. And it is a whole sink, or a big sink. Well, it's a farm style sink. Farm style sink. What do I call it a farm style sink? But anyway. It is a farm style sink. This is your cabinet for your dishes. Very nice inlay here, along with your microwave. Pretty standard. My microwave convection, convection oven. Convection uh -huh. microwave. What do you think about the new uh, uh, bat splash pattern they have here? Very pretty. I'm not a big fan of blue personally, but it looks very, very nice. It's like a bluish silver. Yeah. And then, of course, they have the, the stove top, the induction. And I'll put these back on, folks, the way we found it. Right below the sink, we have our cabinets with our TV. Our TV. Ha! We got our trash can down there. It's a really interesting we, TV. Yeah, right? It's new, new uh, meaning to the word flat panel. All right, we have four cabinets, all the same. Oh, look, a $300 cult. Those are floor, four drawers, not four cabinets. You are correct. And there is our $300 culture tray. And yes, drawers, drawers. I tell you, I'm getting tired, folks. Can you tell? Anyway, and one drawer down here for your pots and pans. And you have your lovely refrigerator, That's pretty a nice much TV. normal. A nice <laughs> <laughs> you That's a now. nice refrigerator. <laughs> okay, folks, I hope you're enjoying this. Do get tired after a little bit. So I do hope you will honor us by liking and subscribing. This is an LG uh, refrigerator. Yeah. And over here, we have the bath. It's a full bath. And uh, some nice size cabinets. A corner cabinet and a medicine cabinet. We also have a seat in the shower. Yes, so let's, let's, take, let's do the old shower test here, the shall shower we? shower test, all righty. Well, let's as you see, see here. Ben climb in. Oh, it's yeah. very interesting. Oh, what does he see? Oh, it's one of the new. Now hear this, now hear this. <laughs> one of the new stick shower heads. One of these little stick showers. We've seen it in some houses, but the, the, it's t sufficiently tall enough for me, who's being six foot six. All right, to sit down here. And uh, it's a little strunch sitting in here. You know, well, honestly. if you put your feet forward, you should fit, right? I yeah, could, but I'm sitting it's, you. It's, at, it's at an angle. Okay, okay. But yes, I can sit here, but I feel it's very tight. But it's a nice bar here, which is a nice, nice handicap bar. Cool. And there's, see, there are, um, there's a plug here, and there's three drawers. And they're pretty much all accessible, mm -hmm. no access panels. And here, we have just a little space here under the vanity. Okay. Wonderful. Moving on to the rear. What do we got next to the refrigerator here? Well, that is our standard pantry. This one has slide out drawers. Okay. I imagine the bottom's the same. I don't way. know how, they don't seem to lock in place any what way, so hopefully they will stay shut on travel. And over here we have the new uh, Precision Plex system. This is up to date. Um, here we are. And there's a king size bed here with a tilt mechanism. I think they're using a wireless control right. for this. Now this does have two end tables, but it does not have the cabinets, but it has all, this, all the uh, hookups for your telephones and chargers and whatnot. So. And this also has a, in the middle cabinet, it's got a access port for CPAP. Right. Across from the bed is the TV set and two upper cabinets. That are quite deep. Right. And then right below the TV, you have a little counter as well as two angle cabinets with adjustable shelves. That's well, on either right. side. It's also got a little light in there. Yeah, most of them do. That's kind of cool. Well, I'd say the other cabinets, I think the uh, 2022 model did not have uh, lights. Okay. And there's also three drawers symmetrically. Uh, they're on each side. And then over here, you have 
two shelves here that are also adjustable. Yes, they are adjustable. And three more drawers like the other ones here. And what's here behind this cabinet? This one here, I'll give you one guess. I'm guessing, go ahead. Washer and dryer. Wow, look at that. There you go. Okay, and if you've been wondering where the wardrobe is, they got a nice long wardrobe mirrored in the back. And this is also lit here too with two lights. Uh -huh. Look at that. And I like the fact that it's mirrored and you can actually stand and see all of you, not just a piece of you. So, so it's kind of very nice. This is a full flat floor from front to rear here. Well, you got this is here is a kind of Well, a it's a little up. bit of a step up, but it's not that much of a deal. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And always remember to open the doors to adventure and start all your journeys with, with the RP keys. All right. Have I think a great it's time day. for a lunch break, guys. <laughs>